what's going on y'all it's your girl Sean coming through what a um I guess I'm gonna call it what we do that in video and it involves me going to Walgreens today so um I don't know if y'all remember but I just did a haul on um some things that I purchased and one of them was my Hello Kitty body wash and I'm running out and of course my husband forgot to pick it up for me like I asked him to so I had to end up doing it myself um well that's what the plan was so today I decided I was feeling a little bit better this morning I wasn't it was just uh, I was feeling horrible but uh, I did decide that I was feeling a little bit better so I decided to play in some makeup I then throw this hair together which I'm ready to take down and go to Walgreens which is the closest store to me to see if they had a body wash the Hello Kitty body wash y'all tell me why I'm in Walgreens doing my thug fizzle and uh first I see this couple it was a black dude and a white girl and he was eye, eye raping me and so I kind of like gradually flashed my wedding ring and moved the fuck on and uh proceeded to what I was trying to do and I really didn't pay her too much mind I, I mean there wasn't nothing better for me to you know engage in so I'm looking I'm looking and I decided that uh, I was going to get the body wash even though it was high as hell. It was much higher than it was at Walmart, but I didn't feel like going all the way to Walmart. So I just decided I was going to get it and uh, gone about my business. So I also took partook, was it partook, partake? Anyway. I decided I was gonna get me some wet and wild uh, nail colors too, cause they was having that 69 cent sale on wet and wild selected items. Don't go in there trying to get no goddamn palette for no 69 cents. Okay, you gotta pay attention to the tags. If the tags is not applied to it, please do not take it to that goddamn counter and raise hell talking about this said 69 cent. No. It's on selected items, boo boo. I'm gonna need you to read, okay? So, anyway, I took my items to the counter, whatever, whatnot, and um, was proceeding to check out. But I had seen some simple colors that had caught my eyes, so I was kind of looking around, you know, how they keep them at the little makeup counter or whatever. So, the lady, she always compliments me on how I look, you know, I guess, whatever. So she was like, oh my god, once again, you look so gorgeous, and oh my gosh, your makeup is always on point, and blah, 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 how do you do it? I was like, this is just what I do, you know, my face is my canvas, this is my business, when I'm away from this raggedy motherfucker, when I go back home, this is my business, this is what I do, you know, so, no, I didn't say it like that, though, so I was like, you know, I went to school for it, I love it, you know, worked in the salon, Hey, what can I say? This is what I do. I love the colors and being creative and all that other stuff. So she was like, oh, okay, okay. Tell me why I feel heat on the back of my goddamn neck. Like right here where my braid is missing. Right there. I turned around, y'all. And this old ass lady is staring me the fuck down. If her eyes was lighter fluid. I'd be on fire right now. I would be burning. I just be, you know, kind of like a gnat at a barbecue, bitch. That that shit. So I looked at her, you know, gradually at first. <laughs> gradually look at her first, you know, to give her that I see you signal, like I see you, so you can stop looking at me now. So I, you know, and kept going on with the conversation. Tell me why she never moved. She never quit stirring. She just. I'm, you Roger Rabbit 
see, I, let me let me take that back. I have respect for my elders. Some of the elders, y'all know, can cross you the wrong damn way. And you be like, what is your problem is? So I'm like, and she just looking. She just looking. So by her staring at me, it made me want to stare back. So I figured out why she was staring at me. Bitch, cause she had the McDonald arches on her goddamn forehead. You mad at me because somebody complimented you. I mean, complimented me on my makeup, which I do professionally. And you standing up here with the Nike sign between your goddamn eyes. Why is it my fault that you decide to put check marks where your eyebrows used to be? Furthermore, why you didn't put them back on the way they was? Before you shave them off, why you didn't put them motherfuckers back like you found them? Like, I know some people shave their shit off because they don't like the way they grow or they don't like the way they look. So they shave them off. But all my diggers that I roll with and communicate with and all everybody back home that I see tend to put them back on like we find them. Bitch, if you got to etch and sketch, you're going to put them motherfuckers back on like you find them. See, I shave half mine off. Let me see if I get closer. Like, if you look at my eyebrow, my natural eyebrow start right there. And then I shave the rest of it off because I don't like the way my arch is. Understand what I'm saying? But I put that motherfucker on back the way I found it. So she's looking at shit. I'm like, you brick face bitch. Like, what is you bad at? And you know, I've noticed in this town, a lot of bitches do that. Like, a lot of people here in, in Mitchell, South Dakota look and stare at me like that. And you know what? I don't mind. Because how y'all see me on this camera and how I come to y'all, this is me every day, all day. Okay? Even before we moved here, this is me all day. I will walk around with a big ass yellow rose and... This is me. You know? When I feel good, I want to look good. Why is it my fault that you bitches is walking around here looking like raccoon face? Your eyeliner is supposed to eye line your goddamn eye. Why you got this shit circled completely around? And then the other chick, the one I mentioned earlier, her dude, she's looking at me all upside my head like, like I owe her something. Okay, first of all, I'm looking at your goddamn eyelashes. Why the motherfuckers look like you just woke up? Like you went to bed with them on two days ago and you just woke up today with the motherfuckers still on. The same ones. And you got eye boogers and crust and eyelashes and shit stuck to the glue. Bitch, go ahead and take them off. You know what? I have a habit sometimes, not all the time, where I sleep in my eyelashes. And it ain't nothing wrong with it. But please do not get back up that next day and leave your ass out that door with them motherfuckers flapping. Don't do that. Go ahead and pull them off. And if you, you know, on a budget and you just can't afford to buy eyelashes like that, go ahead and get you a cotton swab and some alcohol. You know, maybe a little soap and water or just plain water and just rub the bed of them bitches and clean that shit off. Put them right back on. And another thing. Y'all got them eyelash lines does not start way the fuck up here. Why is your, uh, your motherfucking, uh, eyelashes looking like a capital M on your goddamn eyelash line? Y'all, like, for real? Don't hate on the ones that, you know, I, if you, I'm the type, if you walk up to me and you ask me a question, I will gladly answer it for you. If you got a makeup question, if you hit up my inbox, and I've had people do that. You got a question about how you apply some of what you should do? I don't have a problem answering. Bitch, don't mug me because your shit is triple wrong. Like, I mean, it's your face and everything, but come on, boo. Come on, boo. 
just like I see some of y'all, well not some of y'all, but some of the ladies in the world, in the world, there's still one black eyeliner in Cormix. That's not hot. That's not hot. First of all, ain't nobody uh been wearing black uh, lip li eyeliner for lip liner since they needed a splack of belly back in the 90s. Or since public announcement did their last concert. Come on now. That shit went out with SWV in week. <laughs> Come on. Stop that. Stop it right now. But yeah, y'all, I just... In your mind, if you leave the house and you hear something and you just feel like you just wrong, you hear something going, why you do that? Why did you do that? That's not the voice in your head, honey. That's me standing behind you going, why did you do that? Why? Like, who does that? But anyway, y'all, I just had to come and share that because I just thought that was just bananas. Like, who does that? But anyway, y'all, oh yeah, my contest, I'm still, I need y'all's help for real. I need y'all help. Like, y'all hear me begging and pleading for help on ideas and y'all ain't doing nothing to bet. I'm approaching 100 subscribers finally. And I want to do a contest, but I don't know what. I don't know what kind of prizes to get. I don't know what kind of contest to hold. I don't know just... I actually want to just do a giveaway, but I don't just want to be like, you know, I want some thought put in it. And also, I decided to uh, update my Twitter, so I've been doing that. I don't know shit about Twitter. I got one follower today. But I don't know shit about no Twitter, so I need help with Twitter. And y'all follow me. It's pink, spelled the correct way, pretty. Spelled the correct way. MUA, which stands for a makeup artist. At Twitter, I guess. Yeah. Hold on. Let me make sure that shit right. Because <laughs> it might not be. I think it's pretty pink or pink pretty makeup. Hold on, y'all. Because I don't want to lie to y'all. But I'm, I'm sure that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Hold on. Pink Pretty. That shit don't even make sense. I gotta change that. But Pink Pretty MUA. So, follow me on Twitter. I would gladly appreciate that. And as always, over her, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love when y'all comment and, and, and talk to me. I love that shit because I don't look at y'all like y'all just looking at me hearing me talk like I talk I feel like we on the phone or some shit you know and we just chopping it up but you can just have so happen to see me you feel me so anyway y'all until next time divas mwah, mwah.